Hi, I'm Samantha Clayton, fitness expert and former competitive sprinter. I'm working with Herbalife to help you achieve a healthy, active life. Today, we're going to do an upper body and core inspired floor routine. But before we get started, let's do a warm up to get you all loosened off and ready to go. So stand with your feet shoulder width apart, do a quick posture check, shoulders down, chin is up, and let's just reach the head to one side and head to the other. Now let's turn that into a nice gentle roll, just loosening off the neck. Remembering to keep a nice straight back. Let's just roll off the shoulders and roll forward. Slight bend in the knees. Coming up, switch sides. And let's take it down to the floor with a plank walkout. We're just gonna hinge at the hips. We're gonna bend forward, walk out into plank and simply walk back up. Down we go. Holding in plank, we're just gonna loosen up, lift one knee to the elbow, lift to the other side, and let's come back up. Now let's take it down to the floor for our first move where we're gonna do opposite leg lift. So I want you to come down onto all fours, making sure shoulders are directly over wrists and knees are directly under the hips. Want a nice flat back and all we're gonna do is simply lift one leg and lift one arm up. We're gonna hold right here. You can hold here or you can join me on some crunches. Simple crunches, leg is going out back. Keeping the core nice and tight. This move really, really works the core. Give me one more. Let's find that starting position. Nice flat back, lifting up one leg, lifting up one arm and then let's start crunching on the other side. As with all workouts, if you wanna just stay in this position, you can do that or you can join me on the crunches. Work in the core, stretching out. Let's just give me two more. And let's flip over to our next move that's gonna focus on the back of the arm, the triceps. So I want your feet shoulders distance apart, heels are on the floor, hands are behind. We're just gonna go ahead and lift the booty up off the floor. And we're just gonna do a simple tricep dip. Just pushing the arms back. Notice how my elbows are going back. I'm just touching my glutes to the floor and then pushing up. Keeping the core nice and tight. Really start to feel it in the triceps. You can do tricep dips using a bench, but if you're out and about in the park, this is a great one to do because you don't need any equipment, just you and the floor. Give me a few more. Here we go, let's move on to our next move, which is a simple ab twist. So we're gonna stay in this position, feet are on the floor. I want you to slowly lean back so you can feel your abs engage. Take your arms up, bring them back to the chest, and we're just gonna twist touching opposite elbow to opposite thigh. Really feeling the abs working, works the outside of the ab muscles, the oblique area. Always wanna make sure you don't strain your neck, so just looking straight up in front. Nice job. Now our next move that we're gonna go on to is our side plank. So I want you to go into a side plank position so just lie on your side, find a nice straight line, hips are stacked, elbows underneath the shoulder, arm is up, we're just simply gonna lift the hips off the floor, touch the hips back down, and lift up. The feet are stacked, my hips are stacked, and I'm gonna protect that shoulder by keeping that elbow directly underneath it. This entire move, you wanna keep your core nice and tight, touching that hip to the floor, Again, working at your own level is really important. So if you just wanna hold the plank position, that's fine. Now let's switch over to the other side. Here we go. Take your time to find the position first. Check in your alignment. Remember, correct form, in my opinion, gives you the best results. So there we go, chest is up, hips are stacked. And then I'm just gonna start simple plank dips. Keep it going. Nice job. Just 
give me two more. And then hold your position. Down we come and let's finish up with a simple crunch. So I want you to lie flat on the floor, heels are down. I want you to eliminate that space in between your spine and the floor with a nice lumbar curve, tilt in your pelvis. Hands are behind the head and we're just gonna simply crunch up. A simple crunch so that your shoulder blades are just coming off the floor. Focus on controlling your movements on the way up, controlling your movements on the way down and remember to breathe. The whole time you need to breathe. Just give me two more. Nice job, now you can shake it out because we're gonna go back to the top with our workout. We're gonna start out with our plank walkout. So just loosening up, arms are going up. We're taking it down to the floor. Simply gonna walk out into plank. This time we're gonna go straight into our lift. We're gonna lift to one side, loosen off the hips. Back we go, loosen off the other side come back up to standing. Let's do that one more time. Down we go, walking out into plank, lift, loosen off the hips, loosen off the hips, and let's go straight into our move. Now this time you can join me on a more advanced version or stick with the easier version, it's up to you. So this time I'm gonna go up onto all, onto toes and hands. I'm gonna lift the leg, lift the arm, and touch to the center. Again, you can be on your hands and knees if you need to be, but if you want this added core, shoulder and glute challenge, join me for this move. Just give me one more. Coming back onto hands and knees. Come back up onto the toes, this time lifting the opposite leg. Arm is out. Find your balance and breathe. Tucking the knee in making sure the whole time your eyes are looking directly at the mat in front of you to make sure you maintain that nice neutral spine. Always safety first. Give me two more. Nice job. Time to flip it over for our tricep dips. So again, feet are planted, hands are behind. Advanced move this time involves balance. I'm gonna have one foot up. I'm doing tricep dips just with one foot off the ground. Again, you can keep both feet planted if you need to. Always remember, switch sides. Now notice when I'm on the floor, I tend to do a move that's on the front and then I flip over to the other side, making sure that I give muscles a rest in between moves. It's really important not to overwork muscles during a workout. Give me a couple more. Switch sides, two on one side, two on the other. And let's go to our ab twist move. Now this time, I'm gonna add some weight to my ab twist with a ball. You can do it with one dumbbell, or you can use a ball, or you can just do it like we did before, that's fine. Feet are planted, I'm coming back, engaging the abs, arms are going up. This time, as I twist elbow to thigh, coming up, elbow to thigh. Adding in a little bit of a shoulder challenge here, as well as the abs. You can tailor any workout to your own needs. Nice job, keep it going, keep it going. Really adding the twist in, working the outside of the abs and the obliques. Now let's put, the, put your weight down if you have one, and then let's go into our side plank move. This time, we're gonna go up into side plank. And you can go into your dips. If you wanna advance with me, we're gonna go into side plank, up on the hand. And we're just gonna do a hold right here. This is our advanced move. We're doing a simple hold. Or you can continue with those dips. Dips really work the outside of the abs. This move really engages the shoulder more, engages the core, and engages the outside of the glute. Nice job. 
What we do on one side, we must always do on the other. So switch sides, pick your position. This time I'm gonna go straight into the advanced move. Always checking my alignment, checking that line from shoulder to wrist, making sure my hips are square. I'm gonna lift up the arm. I'm just gonna hold right there. The whole time remembering to breathe, remembering to engage the abs. And I love this move because it really does engage your glutes. Nice job. Now let's take it down into our final move, our simple crunch. This time for our advanced crunch, we're gonna come down and you're just gonna lift one knee and cross over. Or you can stay in our simple crunch position, which is right here. Remember with a crunch, we're not coming up too high. I'm engaging the abs. And I'm not pulling on my neck. I'm making my abs do all the work. Control your movement on the way up. Control your movement on the way down. And that will give you a better ab workout. No excuses. You see, I haven't used a lot of space. We've simply used a mat. Me, you, and the mat. So you can do this workout anywhere and get a really great core workout and a really great ab workout. Remembering to breathe. Let's give me two more simple crunches. Finish with a simple one, two. Great job. I hope you enjoyed my workout today. Remember, whenever you work out, it's really important that you do a cool down after, work, out, work on some stretches, and I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>